Hello, and welcome to Art with Miss Michelle. Today we're going to make a dragon picture. So dragons are common in Chinese culture. Um, they're a mythical creature that symbolizes power, strength, and good luck. Um, there are many different types of dragons, but they're often shown with having a really long body with legs, and they can have really fancy heads. Um, so we're going to make our own dragon so you can be really creative and imagine how your dragon might look. Um, so for this project, we're going to use some black paper. And then I have a red rectangle that I'm going to use to make the head and the tail. And I'm going to use some chalk. Um, if you don't have chalk, you can use pastel or something that will show up on your black paper really well. And then I'm just going to need some scissors and a pencil. Okay, so I'm going to start by making my dragon's head. And what I want to do, if I want to fold this a little bit to find the center of my paper, I can. Um, I'm going to make a line from the center of one side to the top corners. And I can either just make a straight line for a triangle or if I want to make it kind of curved a little bit I can. So this is going to be my dragon's head and then I'm going to save the other two pieces for the tail. And then I'm just going to cut those out. And I'm going to glue this on. And I'm going to put it on the edge of my paper so I have room for the body. And if I want to actually use a little bit of these scraps to make the horns or the ears, I can cut a little bit off. And then I can make the dragon's horns. Okay, so I have a nice dragon head and horn, and then I can just take my different colors of chalk or whatever you're using. And then what I can do is start in the middle of the head and make a straight line. That's going to be, well, sorry, this is not a straight line, it's a curvy line, but I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to make a line that's going to be like the spine or the backbone of the dragon and I can curve this like a snake because we know a lot of times dragons have really curvy bodies so that's going to be the center of my dragon's body and then what I can do um, if you want if you have a different idea that's fine too but one cool way to do this is to make a pattern on both sides of my line. So a pattern is any shape or design that repeats itself. So I could do like a curved line and just repeat that shape and kind of follow my dragon's spine. So this is kind of like a really big um, like the kind of shape a scale might look like. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing, but opposite. So instead of curving this way, it's curving this way on the other side. And it might get a little weird where this bend is, but that's okay, just do the best you can. And then if I wanna add more, I could add a triangle or whatever kind of shape you want to use. And then I could either start coloring these in or if I want to add some more shapes I can.
And when I color this in, I want to try not to put my arm on it. So actually, one, the easiest way is probably to start on the side furthest away from my dominant hand. So I'm right handed, so if I start on the top left corner and work my way down, um, I did the opposite. So I'm just trying to hold my arm a little bit above my paper, but if you smear it, you can always go back and touch it up with your same color. Okay, so I have a pretty cool pattern for my dragon. Um, you can keep adding to it if you want, if you want to make it really detailed. Um, you never want to blow your chalk dust. Um, I always tap it on the table because in case there's someone sitting across from you, you don't want to get it in their face and it might make them cough or sneeze. Um, if you want to add legs to your dragons, you can. I think mine's in kind of a weird position, so I might not add the legs. Um, I think he looks pretty good without them. And then if I want to make some nostrils, a lot of times they have cool mustaches. I can draw the face. Maybe some cool eyebrows. And yeah, just keep decorating it as much as you want. Um, I'm gonna add some whiskers. Whatever you think a dragon should have, you can add to yours, because these are mythical creatures, so they can be from your imagination. Um, if you wanna make it look like a dragon you've seen, you can. If you wanna make him breathing some fire, that might be kind of fun. <laughs> I don't think Chinese dragons breathe fire, um, but we're being artistic here, so my, mine has some fire. And then if I wanna add some red, my dragon's kind of going off the edge of my paper, but if I wanna add some red for my tail, um, I can glue these on. I might glue them on the back so it looks like it's coming off the back. Alright, so I hope you like this project. Thanks for watching my video and happy dragon creating.